Mr. Plainard, remember me? Yeah, the girl who's lived down the street for the last 12 years and has the exact same conversation with you almost every day whose name is... Da -da -da -da! Oh, so close. It's looted. But thanks for playing. We've got some lovely parting gifts for you right this way. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> A little worse, okay? So, so like, let's come in more from a purse. So, like, uh, so what do you think? Oh, Otis, you were supposed to make our science project look a little worse. <laughs> this looks like it was made by a four-year-old. Oh. And some raccoons. Oh. But not like rabies root through your garbage raccoons, like, like petting zoo raccoons. If, if they have those. Do they have those? <laughs> Good, right? So she goes off on a tangent. Uh, so she's, she's annoyed with him, but then it's like she's so interested in herself. Like, oh, what, what is that? Like, you know, she's like a little, she's a little too smart for her. Right, good. Great. So now let's put the scenario in that you cannot be heard above a whisper because we could get caught. Okay. So let's see what that changes. Okay. Like, okay, I know. We're in here. Let's build a fort. Build a fort? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. We just broke into a government facility, and your big plan is to build a fort. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wow, that's that's a great idea. I'm gonna put build a fort on a bunch of t-shirts and sell them, and use the proceeds to bail your scrawny bottoms out of federal prison after you get caught. Say so you don't like it. Oh. <laughs> Good, right? The play, great. So who knows what we say, but but you see how it changed. Even again, could do it, but just to change the level, right? That just like you're doing in a different oh, scenario. So like they definitely emboldened that word. So make sure like you honor that, right? Um, so like you're coming up with them a plan, and like you're like the cheer, the chipper cheerleader, and you're just bullshitting as you go along, and it's just like coming off the top of your head. So you like maybe you like even search for it a little bit, you know, just like okay, uh, I I feel so re rejected by this this girl. You know how much I liked her. Oh, c come on, Zill. Look at it this way. Uh huh. Getting rejected by a cheerleader is like getting to make out with five or ten. Less attractive, slightly less popular girls. Oh. And the fact that she actually read your poem spelled out in French fries? Yeah! Well, in some countries, probably that'd mean you were, you were married to these five or ten slightly less attractive, less popular girls. No way! Yeah! I love it! Awesome! <laughs> Great job, right? But just like so fun to play. <laughs>